all you happy people. Uh, today we are extracting Citrine's Honey Supers and I'm very excited because we are getting a lot of beautiful golden amber thick tasty honey. So um, we just wanted to give you a short video since we already did a big in-depth in uh, extraction type video. Just kind of show you the setup and show you what's going on. So enjoy! Go. She's way better at this part than I am. Mm -hmm. I just mangle it. She's like a surgeon with that knife. <laughs> a little tiny back and forth. What do we plan to do with all those wax cappings? Um, we're going to drain them because roughly 20% of the honey that we get is from this that I'm cutting off right now. So we're definitely going to um, strain it and get as much honey out as I can. See how they're just coming off in little circles? That's how I know I just get in the caps. And then, um, Once we get it all strained, uh, we're going to set it outside and let the bees get to it and uh, clean it out until it's like soft and fluffy wax. And then we will have a craft video day where we craft ourselves a solar heater, I think. Or buy one. <laughs> and then you can slowly watch the wax melt. <laughs> What a time lapse video. Yeah. That'd be cool. And then we'll use the wax to make beard bombs. Beard bombs and chapsticks. chapsticks. Maybe a candle. Maybe. That's pretty good, okay. Alright, and this one's ready to go in the extractor. and around and around she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. We've got the fan right here um, dehydrating the, what, the two supers we pulled from Topaz's hive. They weren't fully capped, so we're just dehydrating it with the airflow, just like the bees would with their wings. But, you know, when you take away the animal, you inherit their job, so flap away, little fan. <laughs> if you remember in the last video we tested uh, the honey for the water content and it came out at like 16 and a half percent which was a pretty ideal yep. this honey we tested in um, topaz's new topaz's supers 
and they tested it over 20%. So that's not ready for uh, extraction and bottling. So we're mimicking the action that the bees take by fanning it and dehydrating it. In fact, we'll probably take a test tonight and see where it's at. But Citrine was ready. She's capped, tested great. Do you remember what her number was? 17. 17. So again, just ideal. So we're ready to go. All right, so this is how noob we are at this. Um, you've probably noticed that we've had to hold this machine down to keep it from like walking away on us while we're using it. And it had to do with how we were loading, how I was loading the frames. I put the top of the frame toward the middle of the, of the cage and that caused it to be all cattywampus. So this time I put the top of the frame toward the outside of the cage and now it barely wobbles at all so a little tip and trick if you're doing this on your own and it's your first time and you're like why is this machine trying to walk away on me that's how you do it So now we're going to bottle up some of uh, Citrine's honey. I've got a 16 ounce, uh, one pound honey jar. Um, I've got our honey in the bucket with the gate. Um, I've got a cap here which fits the jar and has a uh, pressure seal inside so that the cap, the, so that the honey is actually sealed. And I've got a, a scale, a kitchen scale, so that I can make sure that we actually do have a full pound in here. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tear the scale to start because I don't want the weight of the jar to influence the amount of honey inside. So we're going to just tear that up. Okay. Now, now I'm going to release the honey into the jar. Then I'm going to weigh it. And what I'm looking for in grams is 453. So I need to add a little bit more. Okay, if it's over, it's not okay to be under. 452. I'm actually going to try and get to 454. Four fifty-four. It's a full sixteen ounces of honey. So now, so now I'm going to take a clean paper towel and just clean off the edge here. Just make sure there's no honey 
where the lid is going to adhere and the, the seal is going to adhere to the cap. Cap it off. And attach our label. And there you have it. Ferns be honey. Hello everyone. We are out at Fernsby. We finished extracting the honey and we are returning Citrine's wet supers to the hive so that they can um, clean them out for us. You can check that top one. Oh, there, there, there. Shit.